Hello there, morons. It's Victor Gimme Break Man, Gimme Flake Man here, back on the Gimme Flake Man channel with a rant. Maybe a laundry vlog. I'm down in the uh, infamous hallway in the subway where some guy was smoking years ago, even though it says don't smoke. And uh, I mean, I made him a few mistakes with that video. Not that video, but uh, anyway, I lost my temper. But so you guys know I'm short tempered. Um, and here I am back with another short tempered video. Because, as a moron, a self-admitted moron, there's nothing more frustrating than seeing other people in life who are stupider than you are, and what's worse, who are not nice about it, who are, um, well, it's raining, I'm great, who seem to be lack self-awareness and not realize that they're stupid. So it's okay to be stupid, there's nothing wrong with to be stupid, but if you're stupid, you should, oh my God, it's gonna rain. If you're stupid, you should be a little bit humble about it or know your limitations. A man should know his limitations. I think we should all, we can all agree on that. And it's, if you're nice and stupid, it's no problem. But if you're mean and stupid or condescending and stupid, well, and what's worst of all, if you're charging for your stupidity? So let me back up and tell you what happened to me. So I got a friend here on YouTube. Um, let's call him Bob. For those of you who know Bob, you'll figure out who Bob is quite quickly. That name alone is a hint. I like Bob. Bob's a nice, cool, mellow guy. I don't really understand what Bob does for a living, but, and I've never met him face to face, but he seems like a really nice person. And he seems to be happy. And, you know, good for him. So one day, about a week ago or so, he sends me, a, oh, oh, by the way, and I've noticed that on, uh, on we're good friends on Facebook, and I've noticed that he follows like these, you know, um, I've noticed he's been active with these what do you call them? Gurus or these coaches that help you, you know, find self-fulfillment or a little bit like get-rich-quick schemes, but maybe not exactly. They're more, they're more like self-improvement guys, right? So, about a week ago, he sends me a, a link and is highly recommending a guy named Prosper something or other. I don't remember, I don't, I don't remember the rest of the name. I don't think Prosper is his real name because that would be a real, really weird, real name, but it might be. And... If you do a search for Prosper, you'll never find him because Prosper is just a word. <laughs> so, I actually I actually consider not even mentioning his name because the point of this video is not maliciousness. But, um, <laughs> but I think the, the name is kind of relevant because he, that's what he uh, sells himself as. A person who will bring you prosperity. And, you know, I, th I thought, okay, well, Robert thinks this guy, um, Bob thinks this guy, it's not too late now, Robert thinks this guy is bright. So I'll, you know, I'll, I'll shut up and listen. I'll follow him, see what's happening, you know? I mean, not, not pay too much attention. I got thousands of friends on Facebook, so nobody does. So then uh, this guy puts up a few posts, nothing special, very short, you know? I didn't make, I didn't, I didn't put two and two together yet, but, but I'll see what, you'll see what I mean in a minute. But then he makes a post that's a long, calm, calculating equation or something and you know what he's erased I, I did all the responses to it and, he, and he's erased all of them except let me see if I can do it uh, his original is still there so let's see and I'm not blocked so let's see if I can find the original post that he said so I can get so I can be accurate right and he works for a place some digital some digital place that helps you with internet marketing some shit, whatever, okay. So let's see, so I'm looking through his posts right now, they're all really short. Not a lot of uh, uh, writing skill needed to, for most of these, okay. So here it is, this is the post. I'm still waiting for the day that I will use, that I will actually use x to the power of two plus y plus eight, then brackets another equation, plus two x, blah, 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 equal blah, blah, whatever, blah, blah, right. So that's, that's his post. And of course he gets a lot of supporters who are saying, yeah, I know, what a waste of time that was. And the sum of it is that he thinks that the 14 years, that he's, he said 14, yeah, I want my 14 years back. So I don't know if he repeated a couple of grades, who knows. But he wants his 14 years back. I'm assuming that means his grade school years and grade is for any of them. So, you know, my argument for that is, what? <laughs> You think they shouldn't teach calculus in high school because you didn't like it or you weren't good at it? Or we don't need it in our everyday life? 
which is completely true. And I wasn't uh, especially good at calculus. I did get into the AP class, but I, I had to switch back because it was too hard for me. I'm not good at calculus, okay? Um, but I'm not proud of not being good at calculus, and I'm not proud of of uh, my ignorance. And what I got away, what I got from that post was this guy is proud of his ignorance, and he thinks that they shouldn't teach kids things like calculus. So. Here's where, here's where I get annoyed, okay? That's fine, we can disagree. So I wrote, you know, I, I disagree. I think you have to teach kids that because without that you wouldn't have the internet, which is ironically the thing, the way you're making a living right now. <laughs> I mean, someone's gotta learn that shit, right? Someone's gotta learn how to use, how to use those equations to make things like computers and get us to space. When we go to space, we get more technology, right? So all that stuff is extremely important. And how do you teach people that? You don't just say, who wants to learn math? You have to expose everybody to it and see where who's good at it, right? There may be some kids who might not think they're good at it or, or might not like it at first, but then after they get into it, they find out that they excel and they're good at it. And, and uh, you know, it becomes something. But anyway, the point is it's necessary. And it's ridiculous. I, said, I, basically, said, I basically said that, and then I said, why, uh, why be proud of your ignorance? And he wrote back something that made no sense at all uh, completely misunderstanding what I said. He said, oh, you must have been really good at school if you were good at that. I'm like, and I wrote clearly in my post, you know, I wasn't good, I suck at math too, I sucked at math too. So I said, did you read my, uh, did you read my comment? Because, you know, I'm giving him the benefit of that because he's a friend of a friend, you know, you want to be polite, at least you're a friend's friend, right? Then he writes back and he says, um, uh, yeah, you, well, but why would you be proud of your ignorance? And I'm like, that's not what I wrote, that's the exact, exact opposite of what I wrote. So now I'm really confused. So I'm like, um, so Robert, I'm a friend of Robert's and he said you're a smart guy, so, uh, but I'm, I'm having trouble understanding why you cannot understand my post. I mean, they're not complicated, they're very simple English, right? Why would you be proud of your ignorance is what I wrote at the end. So then he writes back, well, you're obviously just trying to insult me. And actually English is not my first language, but it took 34 years for anyone to figure that out or something, so I guess that's his age. Um, so um, I'm not going to read anything you write. You know, you're, you're just trying to, you know, to belittle me or something. And that wasn't the point at all. I mean, yeah, it's hard to write that comment without it sounding insulting. But I wrote, and I'm not trying to be trollish, but maybe he has a disability, a reading dys dyslexia or something, you know, which would explain that. And I would be okay. Sorry, man. Didn't I, I didn't know that. So, but he gets all aggro, and um, he doesn't block me though. He he uh, he says. Ponder your next move. And I'm like, okay, well, good luck. I just wrote, okay, thanks, good luck, good luck. And I left it at that, and he went, he went and erased all my comments, which I don't, I don't care. But I started thinking about this whole thing of, um, you know, why, are, why, are, why are some people so proud? Because like, it wasn't just him, it was like the support he got on his message board. Hello, hello. I'm making a video now, so just ignore me for a few minutes. I'm at the school now. But why would you be proud of your ignorance? Why would you tell people don't study math? just because you think it's not useful for the average everyday person. That's silly. Yeah, I mean, it's true, but we're not gonna know that until everyone studies it. So it's just ridiculous to, uh, to make that kind of suggestion. And the other thing about this guy that I don't get is that he couldn't understand basic uh, messages and he seemed to distort them or misunderstand them, you know. I'm, I'm sure not purposely, I think he sincerely just didn't understand what I was saying, but they weren't difficult. And this is, and this guy's charging for advice. So I thought, what? <laughs> Can anybody who thinks they've got, you know, some good advice, I mean, maybe he's got some good advice, I don't know, but you definitely did not see that in that exchange. So I was pretty disappointed, and, and on top of that, I was like, why the hell did Robert introduce me to this guy? Because now I'm just annoyed, because I just wasted time. Yeah. Um, on someone I thought, oh, I had expectations. I thought, okay, this is, this is a guy that apparently has helped him out and Robert thinks highly of this guy, so I'm going to learn something from this guy. Because I'm always willing to learn. I, I, I have the problem of um, not being, I have the problem of being smart enough to know when other people are really idiots. I'm a moron level. It's a little bit higher than an idiot. So, here's my point. Here's my point. It's ridiculous. Why, I mean, why, first of all, why, if he's, if he's promoting like some kind of self-help, whatever, you know, why would you do it by just telling them that they wasted their high school lives? <laughs> I mean, what, what, was the, what was the point of that, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in high school that I do not l need to know now. Um, maybe when the Civil War was uh, ended, you know, 1865, by the way. Um, but, you know, 
you never know when some of that's uh, useful. And then, he, then he, uh, one other comment he wrote was, uh, which is interesting because it because it, it is debatable, and we could actually have a discussion about this. But I don't think I could with him because I don't think he understands the words coming out of my mouth. The other thing he said was, if you think your college degree is necessary, you're living in the 1990s. Well, it really depends on what you want out of life. Um, a lot of people in the world do consider a college degree necessary, unless you are above the college degree level, which is like G uh, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates level. If you're the kind of guy who can get accepted to Harvard and then drop out because you're a goddamn genius, well, good for you. But most of us are not that. Neither am I. Uh, having a college degree does still have some cachet in the real world. If you're an internet guru, marketing guru, yeah, maybe not. Maybe you don't need one of them. Well, good for you, but most of us are not. And I also question that whole thing. Like, what are you actually producing as a, as a marketing guru or a digital expert? What are you producing? What are you making out of this world? You know? At least I'm teaching something. I, I have students who come away who are thankful for, for my lessons and things like that. Uh, I've helped people get jobs and stuff before. So, um, so I feel... I feel like I've accomplished something. I mean, I used to work at a bar too. I used to own a bar and do the school at the same time. And, I, and that was nothing I was proud of. I just got people drunk. I mean, it was, it was great to have fun. And I got a lot, had a lot of fun, had a lot of fun, but it was nothing to be proud of, you know. Uh, I didn't produce anything. So, so be careful of who you take advice from, right? Um, look at all their stuff, look at the, the advice they're giving and ask yourself, how is this benefiting yourself, you? And don't be proud of your ignorance. There's nothing proud about being of being able to say, I don't understand calculus, you know. If anything, you don't, you don't have to be ashamed of it, you know. I'm not ashamed of not being able to uh, understand calculus, but I'm certainly not proud of it. I mean, I wish I could. There's a lot of things I wish I had, 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 had taken more time to, to learn. Not all, not all of them intellectual. I wish I'd learned Chinese. I wish I'd learned how to play the guitar better. You know, I barely play. If, yeah, I don't play. I don't play. I know like 10 chords, maybe. So that's it, that's all. Um, so my question to you, do you, do you, think, do you think he's off on the college uh, is not necessary in this day and age, number one? Um, and what do you think about being proud of your ignorance? What do you think is just ridiculous? Is that something you like wait for young people to make themselves feel better about, their, about, about themselves? You know, that's some weird pat on the back, I don't get it. Let me know what you think, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll talk to you soon.